Welcome to my new series on Python tips. Today I'd like to talk to you about doing command line arguments with Python. Some of you may be very familiar with what command line arguments are all about, in which case I encourage you to skip forward to the part where we're actually talking about the implementation in Python. But in my experience, many programmers are not really familiar with this concept. Although if you've worked at the command line, if you've worked in a console or a terminal, then you have used command line arguments. For example, if I change directory into a directory called Python projects, Python projects is a command line argument. This is the line where we're typing the command, and that's the argument that tells the command what it's supposed to be doing. Similarly, if I use a copy command in the terminal or console window, I'm giving two command line arguments to that command telling it what file to copy and where to copy it to. Similarly, if I've used Python at the terminal at all, I've had to use a command line argument unless I've stuck to the interpreter only. If I tell Python run this file, then I'm specifying the command line argument to Python. So what we're interested today is figuring out how to do this for ourselves. So we'd like to be able to write scripts that take their own command line arguments because it turns out Python will grab any other arguments we put on that line and pass them into our script so that uh, we can use that information as we're running our program. So let's flip over and see what this looks like in Python. So I've switched over here to VS Code, connected up to my WSL on my machine. Therefore, we're working in Linux, but if you're working in Windows or Mac, this is not going to be significantly different with Python. So let's go ahead. We're in this directory I want to be in. Let's create a little script. We'll just call it argscript.py. Um, give it a little explanation. It's a simple script to um, demonstrate command line arguments in Python. And I'm going to put my name on my code because we should always put our name on our code. Now, the first thing we need to know if we're going to be working with command line arguments is that we want to get to them. To do that, we're going to import the system library because that's where that information is. So import sys. Now, I want to be a good citizen. I want to make sure that none of this is done unless my script is the the main script, the one that was run as the program, not imported into someone else's stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put in our formula that says, hey, only do this if we're the main program. Now, what I'd like to do first is just print out the arguments that we've given to the script. So let's go ahead and just print them all. Uh, I'm going to want a for loop for that. So for argument in, and the name of the list that Python gives us our arguments in is sys.argv. Anyone familiar with uh, C or C++ and using command line arguments there will recognize this name. It is the same name. So let's just print those arguments out. And let's see what we've got at this point. So Python 3, uh, the script, and then let's throw in a couple of arguments. Let's say an in file name and 34. So we see that we've listed things. Now it's worth noting the first argument that we get sys.argv at zero is the name of the script. Uh, this is similar to some languages, but other languages don't do that. So be aware Python is one where the script that you ran is sys.argv zero. Then any other arguments that we put on the command line, 
separated by spaces are the remaining arguments. So in this case, we had in file name and 34. Now I want to make a slight change here and show us also what the types of these arguments are. So let's just real quickly add to our print statement. Uh, let's see if we can spell out argument. Let's check to see the type of each of these things. So now the important thing to notice here is even the number here is a string. So if you're pulling information from the command line and you need it to be a number, you're going to need to convert it to a number. That's not hard, but it's important to know that you need to do that because what is happening is we're just grabbing the string, breaking it up by spaces, and then you're getting a list that contains each of those strings. Okay, then let's do just a quick little modification here to give us an idea of how we might really use this in a program. So let's get rid of our code to print them out because that's not something we would typically be doing. One thing we would want to do is a check to see, do we have all the arguments that we need? So I'm going to want four arguments. So I'm going to check, is the length of sys.argv less than four? If it is, then I have a problem because I want three arguments plus my script. And in many cases, I would print some sort of message that explains to the person, here's what I need. In this case, I'm just going to indicate, hey, we need three arguments for this script. And I'm going to write that to system.standardError because that's best practice for error messages. And exit. As you can see, we're using that system library um, fairly frequently here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and grab each of the elements that I want from the list. I could just use the sys.argv in the rest of my code, but there's some value to going ahead and right at the beginning saying, okay, my input file name is going to be sys.argv1. My output file name is going to be sys.argv2. And then I'm going to have an addition to the line. What we're going to do is we're just going to add our addition to the beginning of each line from the original file to produce our output file. That's a nice simple thing that we can do that's more than just copying the file. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to set up something that does exactly that, that reads each line of input and writes out that line to the output file with that addition at the beginning. So we're going to use with so that we're avoiding having to remember to close our files. So we'll read the input file for reading. Open that for reading. Then we'll open the output file for writing. And then we'll do the simplest version of reading each line of a file. This is one of my favorite things about text files in Python, being able to so simply get through each line of the file. And then we'll write each of those out to the output file with the line addition at the beginning, and then a space to help us separate that, and then the line because we know that our addition is a string, so this is all going to work fine. Okay, I've got here a simple short little data.txt file that we can use for running our script. So um, Python, first let's test our guard. So let's put fewer um, arguments than we need. And we can see that um, I apparently left out the S on the argument. 
I'm going to fix that because that'll bug me if I don't, even though we won't see it again. Um, and then let's go ahead and try this with all the information. So data.txt is our input file. Um, let's just call our output file output.txt. And let's stick a um, one at the top of each of these, at the front of each of these lines. Let's just put these up next to each other. So we'll open um, the output.txt to the side and we can see that they're exactly the same. So we've done what we wanted to do. And this is the idea is that we're wanting to set things up so that we can run our script and give it some information as we go. So I hope you have some idea now of what command line arguments are all about and how simple they can be to do in Python. Uh, sometimes you want to do much more complicated things if you have optional arguments and so forth. For that, I recommend checking out some of the libraries that are available. There are some great libraries for Python for doing these kinds of things. But if you want to do something nice and simple, this should be all you need to know. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you next time.